So then Nero goes on his morning walkies. So he'll be on here for about 15 minutes. Good boy. No, you've got to keep going round, sorry. So he's off on his morning walks and I'll go pop Hidda in the arena so he can have a little leg stretch as well. Sorry for the background noise, we've just got a lorry nearby. Uh, Hidda's just having a toilet break because very important. So he's just having a look round as there is any skip up the top of the arena, which he may not have seen. So he's just having a little inspection and having a nice wander before he has to go do his babysitting duties. You've not had a roll yet, Hidda. You have a roll? Don't, don't dig a hole though. Oh, he's such a handsome boy. Well, we may be having a roll. Hitta, don't dig a hole. Hitta, you're getting to sand. It takes more while to find the perfect spot. He has to dig multiple holes to find it, don't you? There's too many distractions for him to have a roll at the minute. He's uh, trying to have a roll. Take two. We're still just digging holes. Is it him having a roll or is it him just digging holes? Hidda. I wish you could have a roll without having to dig so many holes. He's getting closer to finding the perfect spot. What well, after that, you're not going to have a roll. There are too many noises and distractions for you to have a roll. You'll probably have one in the turn now, won't you? So, is there any Ted left in here? Well, it's Ted and his hay net left in here, isn't it? So, his hay net is, is his new friend at the minute. He's not bothered that everyone else has left him because he's got food. And you like your food, don't you? Yes. So he's in there having a nice chill day. So it's that time of morning. It's mucking out time. So we've got these boxes up here to do. Then we've got stable stays where Hoyts and Jubs are still currently, but they're out in the front yard having a nice bit of sunbathing time taking you know advantage of the sunny day we have so ted is happy in there i did ask him whether he wanted to try and look out his own stable but he said his mummy told him he wasn't old enough yet so we gotta wait a while until you're old enough yes so i will muck one out and then he'll move across into a nice new one so there goes the lorry which delivered the new fridge freezer as the old one in the cabin was broken and wasn't keeping things cold which is never good so new one has arrived and he did tell me that you have to let that the fridge freezer rest for three hours before you plug it in and i didn't know you had to do that before you plug it in so you got so we got to let it rest for three hours i'm not 100 percent sure why i didn't question it but yes so I've written it on the whiteboard because otherwise I will forget. So it's written on the whiteboard. So let that rest for three hours. So we can plug it in. Hey, Ted, you can remind me as well because I've now told you. You'll forget as well, won't you? Yes. But yes, right. Time to mock out. So I'm now halfway done with Nero's box. And I just need to get him off the walker. And then get Hidra out of the arena and pop in with him to keep him company. So with the horses who are in, you sometimes find you get used to, you know, like where they're peeing poo, then it's easier to muck them out because you sort of know what to expect really with their box sometimes. It's like near hours find he pees in that front corner of his bed. Then Annie, she loves to hide her poo in the bankings 
just to make it a fun game for you while mucking out. And then Teddy Bear, well, his box is normally quite messy because he's like a messy teenager, aren't you? Yes, but anyway, let's go and get Nero off the walker. So he's been on for 15 minutes and now he's going to go in his turnout. There's Pida just chilling in the arena. So we'll get these both sorted in the turnout now. Yes, it's time for you to come off. You've got to go around one more time so I can slow it down. I usually wait till he's about halfway round before I start to slow it down. Cause then, hopefully, the partitions will stop when he is at the gate. So you need to go around a little bit more. So there's the gate, so just wait till it goes past the gate. And we stop it completely. And then we can go in and get him off. Okay, so the boysies are now in their turn out for the day. So there's Hidra at the hay bar. Then Rainbow Boy Nero. Shall I go get your hay ball? I get him a hay ball as Hidra has got the hay bar. Oh, we got an itch. Are we going to try and creep in? Yeah. I'm not sure Hidra will share. So I'll go get you a hay ball. That can keep you entertained. It's that time of the morning again. It's time to push back the muck trailer. Okay, so that's muck trailer all pushed back. Then, me, Reagan, Hidda are actually sharing the hay bar. Sadly, it is starting to cloud over. So I don't know whether it's going to start raining soon. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. But they're happily sharing. In boysies. So I've had to come over to Nero because he is, I don't know you can see it in camera, that's hid his tail hair. Nero, don't do that. Look, Hidda doesn't have much tail left. Okay, look, he doesn't have much tail left. So we have managed to get Nero to do a different activity now. Not eating Hidda's tail hair, but he's got his salt lick. So he's happy now. You know, like babies and toddlers, you know, you've got to like move them to a different activity when they're starting to be trouble. We're having to do that with you, aren't we? So he's got a salt lick there. So that's keeping him happy and entertained for now. And thank you for everyone who has donated salt licks. All the boys and girls love them in the turnouts and in the stables. It also helps keep Nero entertained. So a big thank you for everyone who's donated salt licks. Okay, so box number one is mucked out. So Ted is now in his day room with his hay net, but he also has another friend. He has got Kathleen the Carrot for company as well. So now you've got two friends. So you won't be lonely, Ted. Are you inspecting how well I mucked out? Is it up to your standards, Ted? Is it okay? Yeah? Okay, smoking's out all done. So all these boxes are done. And Hoyts is in here to keep Ted company. It's Ted. I was getting a bit stressy because no one else was there. And there's Jodie, he's brought up some of the girlies. So there's Bran, Mabel and Annie. Mm. Did you have a tiring night outside, Danny? There's Annie. There's Mabel. There's Ren.
You all had a tiring night. It was a bit rainy on that. Oh, uh, Mabel's having a pee. So I'm just down in stable today, doing the stable after the live last night with this little man and the big man. The big man's currently up at the top barn keeping Ted company, but little jibbers stay down here as he is quite laminitic at the minute. So it's better for him to stay on a nice soft surface. So he is on limited food intake, aren't you? Yes, you are very pottery. But he's quite happy by himself, just watching the world go by, aren't you? Yes. You got an itch. You got an itch. You got an itch. Can it zoom out? Oh yeah. Look at the nose, the nose is going. Yeah. Leg scratches. This is just on the inside of his front leg. Can't really see it properly. Oh, there's his little nails going. So he likes his little scratches, you like scratches. So then I'm halfway done with the stable from the bed. We'll go back down tonight as we've got stable stays on Saturday. There we go. We're getting there. Now the bed. It's already for heights for Saturday night. Out here, we still got the little man. He's gonna spend the day just on the yard here. Cause it's soft. Little man, you got some scratches. Would you like some scratches? He's trying to find any crumbs he can. Is it good? Get. We've not got the nose going yet. Oh, yeah, get good. Let that scratches, don't we? So he'll spend the rest of the afternoon down here. Now I need to go make feeds for all the boys and girls out in the field. Prince, he's in no rush today, it's all nice and calm, just plodding over. Prince, you do have to hurry, or by the time you get over here, the other boys will be done. Okay, he we could be here for a little while waiting. There's Hannes, and there's Ogilvy having their food. So I've just been up the yard, tidying up, ready for our visitors' arrival. They're doing a meet the horses tour with Jody. So I'm now down feeding the girlies. So feeding stop number two. Says down with her food. And then we've got Nikki News with hers. That tasty. Then there's Yo, special child, Xiao. And lastly, we've got little Micah with hers. So happy now. You saving your carrots till last, Mike? The carrots are the best bit. Unfortunately, carrot season is coming to the end. Oh, you put Yo being mean. Because 
video is that the trucks are taking order, so no one messes with you, do they? No. First thing, we're coming to the end of carrot season, so we're switching over to apples for the spring and summer. So we're using the last, last carrots. It'll be a bit like at McDonald's, you know, where you can have like apple slices. As, as what say batons, well that's carrots, isn't it? So they'll be having their apple slices. One of their five a day. Hey, yo, yo. Okay, so now we've got Annie at dry ups. This Tracy's gonna take her out for a hack. You know, she's thrilled by the idea, aren't you, Anne? So let's give her a bit of a clean up. Uh, she's been out in the field last night, so you're a little bit muddy, but we'll get you all tidied up, eh? So here's Annie, she's had a groom. She's currently just having a pre-workout power nap, aren't you, Anne? So by the time she's all tacked up, she'll be raring to go. So she's had her groom, we've painted her feet, so she's just having a power nap. And then she'll be all ready to go. Nero has been playing with Salt Lake again and it's finally fallen off its string. But that's okay, because he's got a toy. So that'll be one of his new toys, but we'll grab what's left of the Salt Lake and pop it on the wall there for you. Well, I'll go see if we've got another salt lick in the back, should I? Yes, I'll go see whether I can get you a new one. So, Annie, she's got her saddle on and it's so pretty. I've got Wado here. I'm going to bring up, he's going to have a bit of a clean up because he's a muddy boy. But you can see, he's trying to do some good eyeliner by the looks of it. So, come on, come, on, come up. Come, come up and have a tidy up because look at you, you're a little mud monster. Talking of mud monsters, there's Prince. Sorry, where don't want to go. He's looking nice and grubby as well. There's lots of patches in the field. Covered in white hair. Very good, we're gonna go. Just like that patch there. He's had a good roll there and got some hair out. So there's lots of patches like that around the field. Thank you, boy. Yes, you wanted to get in on the video as well, didn't you? Oh, well, I have actually started to rinse that leg, but this is what we are working with. Look at the face, quite grubby. And obviously, under his mane, it's had to get mud there. And then, how's your other side looking? Muddy as well. He's all clean now. So he's had a good groom, leg wash and tail wash. And now he's a clean boy. Until he goes back out in the field.